What's going on guys? This is Ryan with Dark Chaos Post, and every time that people start to believe that maybe Lucasfilm is going to do it right, that maybe Lucasfilm can start to turn Star Wars around, they go and do something and show just how out of touch they still are. They prove that this is still very much Disney Star Wars, and that they have such a long way to go. This time, it was from the Star Wars official Twitter account that had a really bad couple days. Now, we're going to get to who they decided to wish a happy birthday to, aka Rose Tico, Kelly Marie Tran, and who they somehow forgot, you know, James Earl Jones, the voice of Darth Vader, the most iconic villain in cinema history, you know, they didn't wish him a happy birthday, but they wish one to Kelly Marie Tran, Rose Tico. We're going to get to that and what that means and how ridiculous it is that they never even corrected their mistake. But first, why don't we go back to what they put out yesterday on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It is so obvious for people to see straight through what they are saying because we know that this is a lie. Lucasfilm does not believe these words. Disney does not believe these words because at each and every time they have an opportunity to show that they truly do believe it, they choose instead to make money. They choose instead to put profits and money over these words, which is how everyone knows it is a sham. It is a virtue signal that they do not believe. Take a look at what they put. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe nor politic nor popular, but he must take it because conscience tells him it is right. Martin Luther King Jr. Neither safe nor politic nor popular. Very interesting. We'll see, we'll see what else they expound upon down here. Uh, today, we honor Dr. King and celebrate his legacy. The Lucasfilm family is committed to fight for justice and equality in every corner of the galaxy. Each of us keeps the dream alive. Really. We're committed to fight for justice and equality in every corner of the galaxy. You know, uh, somebody had a statement on this. Some guy on Twitter, Ryan Kinnell, RK Outpost, give him a follow, funny guy. Every corner of the galaxy, except China, because we want their money. And that is the real translation. And how ironic that today, Finn is trending. Because people are talking about John Boyega in the shaft that he got in Star Wars. Finn's character, who is completely minimized, who is completely rendered useless and ineffective and stupid and pointless in this entire sequel trilogy. And another thing that goes in line with, you know, my comments, remember the poster... If you really believe this Lucasfilm, if the Lucasfilm family is truly committed to fight for justice and equality in every corner of the galaxy, what about that Force Awakens poster? Star Wars outcry after China shrinks star in poster. And of course, the star we're talking about is John Boyega. Um, John Boyega, who is very prominently displayed on most Force Awakens posters, except in China, where somehow they shrunk him down and hid him in the corner. Do you know why this is? Because Disney knows that uh, a lot of the Chinese audience isn't a big fan of black actors in the movies they watch. That is what they have discovered. That is what they have determined. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I think that maybe it would be interesting to see what movies like The Rock, if The Rock is in a movie, is it successful in China? You might have to look into that, but that is the stipulation. Because we know a lot of things go on in China that do not align with a lot of the traditional values we would expect people to have in a free and open society. What does Disney do? Do they uh, continue? Do they do it because it's uncomfortable, because it's not safe? Did they keep Finn there? Or did they shrink him down in order to pander to get Chinese money? That is exactly what they did. We all know that's the case. And now so many people are talking about Finn. John Boyega's Finn was set up as the male lead and co-protagonist of the sequel trilogy. That's not an opinion. That's not a headcanon. That's a literally fact. It sucks this blew up with all these grammar errors. Uh, he was set up to be equal with Rey and Kylo's foil, and we all know why that changed. Now, I gotta call out this a little bit. Uh, let's be very honest. I don't believe that Disney Lucasfilm would have ever let John Boyega be the co-lead to Daisy Ridley. Uh, for pretty obvious reasons. Let's be real. This is Force Awakens. This is not a reaction to The Force Awakens. This is the poster. They shrunk him in the poster... For this audience, do you really think they were, if they did this, if they did this to a black man's character, do you really think that they would have made him the co-lead, that they were ever intending to do that? 
I personally don't believe that. I do know that he is the one that had the most potential to expand upon. He could have become a Jedi. He could have become a love interest. He could have done all these things, but instead he was neutered and rendered useless by Ryan Johnson and then J.J. Abrams. But that's what so many people are talking about, how they would have loved to see what John Boyega could have done uh, with Finn, with this character in the sequel trilogy. Now, you remember that uh, a lot of people tried to paint other people that hate this character. If you remember, this is back from 2015. Racists urge boycott of Star Wars Episode 7 over Black Lead. Most of them love Trump. Now, if you think that all this stuff against fans, the media with Lucasfilm against the fans has just recently popped up, that only since Phantom Menace was around, no, you're wrong. This was happening a long time ago. People just weren't as in tune to it. Of course, most of the reaction to Finn being a stormtrooper was because some people are so dumb that they thought that clones were still stormtroopers. That's their lack of Star Wars knowledge. That's their ignorance. But it is not racism. The vast majority of people who had a problem with Finn, who were like asking questions about a black stormtrooper, that was the reason why. Anyone can do a little research and find that out. But no, these shit articles and these shit media members have been doing this since before The Last Jedi needed to be defended. But that wasn't the only ridiculous thing that so many people noticed. And again, let's, let's just go back to China. Again, I, I have to pull it up. Um, the new Chinese-only High Republic novel, if you really co care so much about justice and equality and diversity and all these things you claim to... The Distant Star System, that is specifically a Chinese book that is being released, is uniquely Chinese corner of the Star Wars universe. Although populated by some recognizable races like Twi'leks, Rodians, Wookiees, and the like, it mostly consists of a race of human with black hair and dark eyes who's given names, space food, architecture, values, culture, and habits reflect those of the Chinese. They made a Chinese ethnostate in Star Wars to sell to the Chinese market because, again... They will do anything. They will change Star Wars. They will compromise any principles they supposedly have for money. That is the bottom line. But let's get back to this. Help us in wishing the incredible Keller Marie Tran a very happy birthday. Now, I have no problem with Star Wars doing this. I think the character of Rose Tico is an absolute joke. But Kelly Marie Tran seems nice enough. A uh, beautiful girl. Put her out there. Happy birthday to her. No problem with that. I do have a problem when you ignore James Earl Jones' birthday when drunk 3PO has to remind everyone that, uh, by the way, it's Darth Vader's birthday. James Earl Jones turns 90. It was the same day. Nothing from the Star Wars account. Not a single fucking peep from Star Wars about the voice of Darth Vader. One of the things that made Darth Vader so menacing, so iconic. This is a villain who had 13 minutes of screen time in Star Wars, later to be known as A New Hope. 13 minutes, yet he's, his lasting impact on entertainment is unreached by maybe anyone else. And you don't wish the man a happy birthday. Now, if you want to say maybe they didn't know, maybe they weren't looking at the replies, look at this. Now, when you go through these replies, it's all people that are saying, what about James Earl Jones? What about James Earl Jones? What about James Earl Jones, right? You can see it so many times, people talking about James Earl Jones in the comments, you know, or Darth Vader, one or the other, same thing. Look at this. I found this. This reply was hidden by the original tweet author. So there is a reply here that was hidden by the Star Wars Twitter account. I thought that's weird. Data Racer? I know Data Racer. Why would they delete Data Racer's tweet? Well, you had to go to his to actually find it. Ignoring the icon James Earl Jones' 90th birthday to instead post about a 30-year-old annoying and forgettable forced diversity character no one likes, you're truly a clown. Now, maybe they hit it because he's called him a clown or whatever. Uh, very clearly, he was insulting the character of Rose Tico, not Kelly Marie Tran. I think that's pretty obvious, but they hid this reply, which means they saw this reply. They saw this reply that said they missed Darth Vader's birthday. They didn't do a damn thing about it. They never went later in the day. I can show you Star Wars Twitter account. Let's look. Let's look at the Star Wars Twitter account. Look, those only two things. Help us in wishing the incredible Kelly Marie Tran happy birthday. Nothing on the uh, nothing on the 18th except the MLK thing. That's it. They never followed up. They never said, oops, can't believe we missed this. Happy birthday, Darth Vader. Lucasfilm and the people who work there, including the people who run social media, are so fucking out of touch with Star Wars fans. And it is continuing to remain that way. That is unforgivable. Let's just be honest. 
That is completely unforgivable. Wish, wish Kelly Marie Chan happy birthday all you want, but to ignore the icon of James Earl Jones. This just proves that the idea of uh, let the past die, kill it if you have to, is still alive and well at Lucasfilm. Just because they brought a couple characters you like back doesn't mean everything's changed there all of a sudden. Doesn't mean it's perfect, and I think most people understand that. But uh, every once in a while, I think people need a reminder of just what Star Wars still truly is. And it still is Disney Star Wars. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.